Okay, welcome back. Didn't think I'd be making a video as soon as this one, but we're starting to churn them out, starting to get a lot more um, film in the pipeline. This video I originally recorded, but after reviewing the footage, I looked like shit. So, I am redoing the intro now because uh, no one wants to see a dude in his car at 6 a.m. with eye crusties. So this is the redo. Music time for the week. Hey everybody, it's music time! We are listening to Dives. Is the is R is what it's called. Um, super cool band. Very rock heavy, very beach heavy. Um, get the point. For this video, it was just a quick neighborhood walk. Um, I went to get coffee and didn't shoot really anything while I was at the coffee shop besides one shot that was just kind of boring. It was fairly lively in the morning around like 7.30 ish by the time I got to the, the neighborhood. First roll, I was using um, a roll that was already in my camera, Portrait 800. So that's what we started the walk with. To finish out the walk, I used um, Cine Stills black and white double X, which I have right here. Boom. But yeah, this stuff is crazy. Um, first time shooting black and white, turned out really good. Not sure how much of it I'll post, but you'll see all of it in the video here, so. Take it seat right there. Got so much stuff, dude. Always have so much stuff. Goes there. And I can sit with that. A lot of people like to hate on film photographers for shooting dumb shit, but I have this weird fascination with shooting porta potties in weird places. Um, <laughs> but uh, this one just looked interesting. The green trees above it, it's bright orange, and some flowers at the schoolhouse, so. Yeah. Seven. Getting close to being done with the color. And it's onto the new roll black and white. Woo! Okay, I literally had to shoot this last scene because I'm using Portrait 800 at F22, which was just so gnarly. I didn't really like I have to jump up that, that crazy this morning. The sun is just getting so bright. Also, that wall over there is just shining like crazy against the uh, light meter. So, yeah, F22 at like 500 at box speed. Wild. Super, super bright out here right now. Stopped right here, not sure why. Just really like the trees out there. This little V right here. And then the chimney sticking out. Thought it might have been a cool cool composition shot it at f8 i think 250th yeah f8 250th at a uh, you know box speed of course but yeah, i thought it looked cool we got two shots of color left two all right just shot the last color shot not gonna show you it because you'll see it in the video i'm not gonna record a video of it because it was the front of someone's house so that would be weird at 8 30 in the morning um, I also shot the second to last shot there as well. And I noticed there was a girl walking with her dog. 
So I tried to kind of Gary Wenigrand that and just kind of wait around and act like I didn't know what I was doing until she walked by and then kind of just lifted up my camera because I already had my settings down and fired away while she was right there. So hopefully that one turns out good because that might be a cool little street photo of a girl walking her dog super early in the morning in front of like a really, really, let me get, let me get that light in front of me, in front of a really uh, colorful house. So I just got back to the car. Um, I'm gonna change my film, drink some water, and then maybe go park somewhere else and, and in the neighborhood and find somewhere else to shoot. So almost done with the day. Alright, so, should I, oh, where's my shadow? I've gotta be able to talk to you guys, you gotta see me, there we go. So that Mustang, I just shot two photos of on this black and white one. Actually both rated at 300, I don't know why I rated it at 300, but the box speed says it's variable, 200 to 800, so I was like, you know what, let's just do 300. But I think those Mustang shots will be cool. Nice and contrasty, lots of light, lots of dark, so our next thing we're gonna be shooting is this bad boy? So this thing was too cool. Look at the look at the reflections on the ground. This thing was way too cool to not spend three shots on, so I spent three shots on it. But we're on six now so f i guess five more shots technically um yeah blowing through this black and white it's gonna be a very quick quick morning here because i don't have any rolls left in this or obviously not in this because there's only one in here i don't have any rolls left in my bag which is on me right now so didn't come prepared for this much heat out here and it's fucking hot out here oh my gosh might be good to call it early okay so i shot this shot I shot this shot just to see how the black and white would deal with such a dark scene. I mean, there's still some light bouncing around everywhere on the ground, but see what it comes out. I hope it comes out not too contrasty, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't have much to say about what I shot here. I just really liked the pattern on their driveway. Pretty nice looking pattern. I got a vertical shot of, hopefully, of the ground. The uh, garage door and the palm tree behind. So we'll see how that one turns out. It looks so nice. Last shot of the day on the Dos Equis, black and white. Is of this cute little house. Sweet. Back to the car we go. To dump this film and then pay more money to get it developed. Why do I always attract cats when I'm out? Hi, baby. You're so cute. So cute. Okay, goodbye. Have a good morning. Bye. I'm gonna get back in my car now and get on the freaking road, brother. Peace.